All right, hello everybody, Skyrain here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. It is official patch notes day, finally, okay. Now, to go along with the um, speculation one that I had done yesterday, of course, uh, let's compare the two and see exactly what is what. Here we go. This is when it's going to occur, so hold on. There we go. All right. Um, okay, so there's the one that's gonna the maintenance will occur. And keep in mind for those of us in the states or whoever is going to have their uh, daylight savings time adjusted. Um, that's not officially for us until the tenth in, in real life, but in the game it's gonna be on the sixth. Um, let me see. This one says the fifth here, but um, bring this up here. For, for me, it says on the 6th. So, for the rest of the week, the game events are all going to be an hour ahead. So, like, um, Shadow Wars and the like will be affected for the rest of the week until our time changes on Sunday. So, that's going to take some adjustment, but it is what it is. They apparently can only do that on maintenance, so that's just to cover that real fast. That wasn't necessarily in the patch notes, but uh, it was just a reminder that's going to coincide with this week. All right, so yeah, there's the stuff. Let's go moving on here. Um, we'll make this real quick. I already watched the uh, re uh, region of webs. Let's go ahead and I'll just re... Uh, I'll, I got the volume turned down, so let's see how big this is going to look here. Uh, there you go. That's the outfits for the battle pass that's upcoming here. Um, eh, the color scheme is rather drab to me, but, uh, yeah, that's what that looked like. Alrighty, uh, Arachnid, the theme webbing is what it is. That one won't take place, though, until the end of the battle pass, um, for March 14th. So, moving on. Infernal Hunger Limited Time Event. It's one of those... Um, from March 20th to the 31st, over the course of that time, you'll be able to collect rewards along the way, 21st, 23rd, and 27th. And then also, you during the event, you will receive a 100% experience boost uh, from Battle Pass events. So, you might want to save collecting uh, stuff. However, that's the new Battle Pass, right? Uh, the new Battle Pass starts on the 14th. So... Once the new battle pass unlocks, I would say fill it up and wait to claim a lot of that stuff until, uh, yeah, 20th to the 31st. So around that time, I would say hold on to it and wait until it's close to maybe the end or on a Monday towards the end of it and uh, collect a lot of that experience for big gains there. All right, returning events, fractured plane, again good for returning players and every, well, it's good for everybody. Bottom line, uh, but it is good for if you're working on alts and you want to play catch up, or if you've been away for a while. This fractured plane is very good in getting your gear uh, combat ratings up on. So play the hell out of that one. Uh, Conqueror, you get some of those um, single item legendary mystery item chests um, so you can play that one for those no matter win or lose I think you get one of those boxes so you can start stocking up on those although the funny thing is this one's gonna go coincide with uh, the tower war that is still ongoing now in conqueror mode you do not have all your gear slots you only have six out of the eight um, gear slots uh, active for that one so keep that in mind, and uh, also you, your resonance and everything is reduced, and your set items as well. So this one's a bit more, um, I'd say, kind of PVE friendly or um, free to play friendly, but um, the the lag in there is still kind of pretty terrible at times. But there you go. That's that one real quick. These are all events that we've had before. While Brawl is coming back. Uh, Survivor's Bane is coming back again, which we just had not that long ago. This one's very good as well for, um, you know, getting scraps. 
getting material uh, mostly, and uh, you, in the initial run through for the the rewards, you'll get some nice legendary uh, boxes and such again. But this one's really good for for uh, mostly material scraps and leveling actually on on uh, alts and uh, returning players and such like that. So that will be coming back around again. Twenty second, Alley of Blood. Uh, that's this one's okay as far as rewards go. Uh, mostly, I don't know, you can get a lot of that stuff done in like one or two games, maybe three if you need to, but then after that it's kind of meh. Uh, and then there's the rules of engagement that says all characters will be set to level 60. Legendary rank of gear and sets will be set to one, so this is, a, you know, the Alley of Blood itself, the event, is reduced, um, unlike the Shadow Wars and such. Uh, oh yeah, and bonuses from uh, the following are disabled as well. Residents, clans, and warbands, normal gems and charms, helicory bonuses, stances. Paragon specialization is also um, disabled in Alley of Blood, so yeah. Uh, and then Hungry Moon, the usual. You know, that one's, pretty, that one's pretty decent, but it just takes a while to get everything. Shady Stock is here and is okay. All clans on deck. See, all these are returning, same stuff. Now let's get to the newer stuff here. Uh, Heliquary death screen changes. When everybody has exhausted all their uh, resurrection stones, it will now say the raid has was defeated. Uh, note for everybody to notice. Um, and that your only option is to exit. So they, they changed that. Uh, character customization reset reduced to one day. Um, so now... Cosmetics, yeah, for so you can change like every day for free. Um, character customization reduced to one day, so you don't have to wait the seven days anymore. You can do it like daily <laughs> for anybody that just I don't know. Um, see, battlefield class match. Oh, here it is Battlegrounds Battlefield class matchmaking balance changes. Apparently, I thought that was going to be an option. I don't know if it's um. I still am not entirely 100% sure on this from the way they they put it here. Um, they're going to they say with our current matchmaking system for battlegrounds, in rare cases it would cause an imbalance. Rare cases, my ass. Okay, it happens a lot. Not rare. It's pretty frequent. So nice try in trying to word it and sugarcoat it but no it happens a lot but anyway it would cause a rare uh, yeah it would cause, I keep I get this it would cause a large imbalance between the melee and range classes between the two teams you, you don't say uh, we adjusted our team matchmaking system to ensure classes are uh, more evenly distributed between the two styles of range and melee so more class distribution are evenly on both sides <clears throat> now that still remains to be seen uh, if that's going to be a separate tab from one or, you know, a separate selection option whenever you go to Battlegrounds uh, or if it's implemented across the board like right now or when, not, well, when, they, uh, when maintenance happens. We'll find out if there's a choice between the two or not because if there's not, I'm assuming that the queue times might be a bit longer now because of it. And we won't have the any other way to change that. Or if they do still give us the option to go in like we have been for faster queue times. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but it's funny. Uh, it says in rare cases. Anyway, moving on. Here's the gem splitting. I mentioned uh, yesterday uh, there was speculation, of course, that people thought the hybrid gems would come back. No, no, no. I already called it then. I said, no, it's just splitting normal gems. You can do this, I think, three times a week. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. Uh, allow three gem splits per week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that rank one gems cannot be split. Well, why would they? <clears throat> um, that doesn't make any... Uh, rank one gems can't be split anyway. So, what? anyway, that's that's funny. But yeah. There you go, that's for people that didn't have enough gems to fill in their bracelets when they unlocked them. Um, that was a big issue for the start for a lot of people, but we all grinded it out and suffered through it. So by the, at this point, that should have happened when we got bracelets the first time, to be honest. They should have already had this in place, but they took this long to get it. But hey, nonetheless, it's still put in now. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see. Improve functionality for search for clans and warbands. Just the UI changes make it a little bit more simpler, I suppose. So there you go. And familiar inventory changes. Increase capacity. Oh, no. they uh, When your capacity for your familiars in your inventory is full, they will now be sent to your in-game mail. <laughs> and then they put this, like, a pet tagline in here. Uh, we claim until you can find them a forever home in your inventory. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. And then bug fixes, which, ha-ha! <laughs> we always laugh at that one because it's a joke. Um, that's it. It's a minor patch, uh, mostly quality of life stuff, and then all the returning events that we're all used to at this point. So, and the new battle pass on the way. So make use of them when you can, obviously. The new events, you know, as per usual. Um, I might try and cover those again whenever they come up, time frame wise. But that's the uh, gist of the rundown of everything. So, there you go. That is what is upcoming on maintenance for this week. And remember, again, one more time, our our time's going to change here in the game um, when they do maintenance. So that's going to be fun for the rest of the week until the real-life uh, time change goes into effect over the weekend. So anyway, stay safe out there as always, everybody, in the real world on fire. Take care as always. And until next time, see ya.